Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. This is for the March BAM Box Horror Box. Um, I need to address something. You know, let me get the lighting right there. I need to address something right off the bat. My lower lip's not really moving because I am super juiced up on Novocaine. I literally just got a filling. <laughs> and then I came home and saw my BAM Box Horror Box on my front doorstep. And I was like, I always do these immediately. So instead of waiting a day, I was like, Let's just go through it. Let's wing it. So I apologize. Uh, you might not be able to hear everything enunciated all that well. I'll, I might start drooling at some point. I'll try and keep that to a minimum. But hey, this could end up being a fun video for you, actually. Uh, I will never do videos like this again if I can help it. Um, because I plan on not getting any cavities anymore. Who knows? Anyway, uh, let's get into this box. And like I said, I apologize for the state of my mouth and what may end up flying out of it while I'm doing this. Uh, anyway, uh, I remember, I think, two of the properties for this one. I'm actually not all that excited for the properties. There's one that I actually, actually, I remember three of the properties for this. I'm only excited about one of them because uh, I really do enjoy that movie. But we'll see how this goes. Tissue paper for the cat. She might come use it. Tissue paper for the cat. Only two this time. Sometimes she gets three. So, okay, so, oh, oh, this is no good. Hold, okay, so hold on. So I did get a one-up, which is awesome. Always love getting the one-up. So pin, art print, I don't know, we'll find out. Autograph, maybe. So the first thing here is, I don't want this. If this is from the property that I think it's from, I'm going to be not happy. This Yep, it's got the name on it. I don't like this. Reanimator. Okay, so this is the thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna rant slightly. It's not gonna be so much of a rant, but okay. So like I understand the box is relatively low cost for the stuff we get in it, and like I say all the time, I'm in it for the pins and the art prints. Yes, but I love Reanimator. I was very excited for this property. This is why I hate the props. A lot of the times they're big misses. This is a huge miss. This has nothing to do with Reanimator except for the fact that he uses a syringe at one point. The thing is, if you're going to make it look like Reanimator, you can't just put Reanimator on it. Take some of the other items out of the box. They've talked about doing this before, like dropping some of the items and making something more premium. So this, you would need to have some sort of like, you know, fluorescent uh, green something inside of it, even if it's just like colored. Because like this, it's way too like, oh, this is supposed to be the reanimator thing with the reanimation, like goo kind of, fluorescent goo. But, you know, I mean, I guess you can kind of do that yourself, but I just don't appreciate stuff like this, to be honest. Uh, this is probably going in the garbage. Don't like it. I'm not into the props. I think that's that sucks. I don't like that at all. So hopefully someone out there likes it and they'll take the time to like, because I think you can kind of make your own fluorescent water by just like soaking a highlighter in there for a certain amount of time. And it'll kind of like all come out and I don't know, but I don't like it. Anyway, uh, going to the pin, this pin looks nice. And uh, that's what, one of the things that matters the most to me. Um, design is by COD or does he just go by COD? I don't know. I hope he doesn't go by COD. That's kind of weird. Um, yeah. Oh, and this is this one's out of 250. I'm excited about that. I also just realized I have to make sure I don't like bite the inside of my mouth or my tongue because I just like have my teeth touch and I'm like, Ooh, I hope my tongue's not there. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, so this is from Leprechaun, which makes sense because this is the March box. That looks good, man. That looks really good. Like a nice, really demonic, mischievous Leprechaun played by Warwick Davis, who did a great job. Um, to be honest, I've only seen the first Leprechaun. I've heard from a lot of people don't bother after that, and I can see why. I got number 198 out of 250. So, this is cool, though. I really do like this pin. This pin is very nice. So, I'm over the syringe already. And that's what I mean. Like, I'm, I'm usually not looking forward to the props anyway, so I kind of write them off before I even open the box. So, if I do get a prop where I'm like, oh, this is really nice, then... I'm, like, very pleasantly surprised. Okay, so here we go for the art print. The other thing I'm all about. 
Oh, okay. Uh, artist Brian Romero, and this is entitled Alien. Oh, legit. Nice. I got number 267 out of 2,500, and it's an alien, as you could guess. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, I like the coloration on that. Those greens, the shades of green, and like a... In certain areas, it's kind of like a bluish green, too. Those look good. Did a really good job with the little extra mouth coming out of there. Yeah, Brian Romero. That looks good, man. That's cool, because I don't really have... You know, I don't really have much alien stuff, to be honest. I have, like, a Ripley Funko Pop, but that's about it. Actually, I have two of those for some reason. Um, got them in, like, boxes, kind of like this. Um, okay. No, I like the art print. That's good. Autograph. Phantom of the Opera. Jill Sholin, who starred as Christine Day in the Phantom of the Opera. Phantom of the Opera, 30 Years of Music. Haven't seen it. I've actually seen the Broadway, well, not on Broadway, but the Broadway caliber show of Phantom of the Opera musical, and it is very good. I've just never seen, like, any Phantom of the Opera, like, movies or anything like that, and I don't think I'm ever going to just because I know the story so well. I've seen what the movies are based on, this the uh, musical, so, you know, it's kind of like, I don't know, I don't feel like I have to. Uh, although I've heard Phantom of the Paradise is supposed to be worth it. Let me know down in the comments if you've seen it and if you agree or don't agree on that one. But, oh, I think it's kind of cool. Uh, she put a little XO on there. I don't, I haven't seen anyone who signs these do that before, so that's kind of nice. Little hugs and kisses to the BAM fam. Um, some, some people out there could be excited about this. It's just not me. Um, and that's it then. Man. So that would indicate to me that they believed this was a premium prop because they said that they will only do one prop if the the one prop uh, if the prop that they're putting in it it you know costs a little bit more. So somehow this costs a little bit more. I mean, I don't deal with the costs on these things, so I'm in, I'm inclined to just go ahead and believe that. I wouldn't think that they would, you know, be unscrupulous or anything just this isn't exciting this isn't where you want to put your money to be honest I'm not a fan but anyway i love the pin and i really like the art print as well so awesome so there's the little thing if you want to pause it and look at that yeah it's from reanimator no i want a redo on the reanimator franchise for the bam box horror box i know they can do something good with reanimator pins would be sweet uh, art print would be even sweeter in my opinion. Uh, I can I, th I can write off autograph because there's probably no way they'd get autographs because I don't think, well, I mean, maybe. Maybe they could land like a Jeffrey Combs or a Barbara Crampton. That'd be super awesome. But I wouldn't hold out hopes. But like an art print or a pin would be super, super cool. So BAM, if you see this, anyone at BAM, please redo on the reanimator. I don't like the syringe thing. Plus, that's the other thing that point out. A lot of these properties, you can do like a prop from that and then much later you can do like an art print from it and then much later do a pin so like you can recycle them and get like a little bit from everything i know they've done it a few times with friday the 13th as well as nightmare on elm street so that's fine uh so the hmm i don't know how i feel about this the variations of the pin are just color variations i don't like that i mean yeah okay so this one's like the the normal one that everyone gets. It's just kind of like the flesh colored, like regular. The one I got, which was special, was green, and then there was a yellow. So I say I don't like that because I like them to be like actually different. But at the same time, what else are you going to do from Leprechaun? So I kind of get it, honestly. So I kind of retract that statement. I get it. What else are you going to do? This is not okay with me, though just a color variation for the art print because uh, it's like there you go there's the one i got the normal one and then there's the one that was like the variant i mean the color looks cool it's like an like an orange and reddish hues in there but make it actually different art somehow or, or even in this instance just do like a blood splatter on it or something like have instead of it like drooling like dripping blood and like blood splattered on it like it just killed someone like just like you don't have to do anything drastic but just like some sort of change 
Like, that kind of bothers me. It's like, oh, it's a variant. It's just colored differently. And, but, I mean, the art is awesome. So, I really like it. Uh, then there were the different things you could have gotten for the Phantom of the Opera. As you can see. Oh, sorry for the glare. You can see there. Yes. And then for their giveaway, Robert England signed 11 by 14 photo inscribed what a rush it's this one down here yeah that's awesome that looks good see that's the type of thing they needed to do with the um reanimator syringe put some colored liquid up in there there may have been too much too much involved with that logistically could have been a nightmare like shipping the box and like it breaks open yeah i mean i don't blame them but just like don't do don't do reanimator for the prop then you know like do it for something else go for something else and I've actually said in the past, like, I w wish they would just get rid of props altogether because I'm not into them. But I know a lot of other people really are into it. So, you know, it's just not my thing. So when I complain about it, take it with a grain of salt. That goes for anyone watching BAM family, you know, people who work at BAM, you know. I love what you guys do. Oh, and then I forgot to point out that there were these cool, like, variants of the Phantom of the Opera signatures. One was on sheet music, which is pretty sweet. And the other one was on, like, a popcorn box. Which is cool. And the one was out of 99. Both out of 99. The sheet music is probably the most interesting. That's cool. Okay. So overall, um, I'm alright with it. I mean, it's not like, I'm not going to be like, oh man, this was such a great band box. But it's good. It's a solid band box. Because I got what I care about. I got a really good pin and a, and a really good print. So, I'm alright. Autograph, like I said, wasn't that interested. And I already covered the prop enough. So... Um, apparently there's going to be some sort of announcement, either it may have happened later today or tomorrow, um, Adam MacArthur, the head of Bambox had said some sort of special something they're working on for the horror box. So hopefully that'll be really cool. I'm sure it will be. And then for the pop culture box, which I'll be unboxing as soon as I get it, might be tomorrow, might be Saturday, might be Monday. I don't know. Um, I'm going to have a, a signed Funko Pop. And then they also announced just today that for April's Pop Culture Box, they're also going to be having a signed Funko Pop. I love these ideas. I was about to drop the Pop Culture Box because I wasn't in, it's like super interested in all the franchises in there because I'm more into the horror stuff. But when you, when you throw out signed Funko Pops, I'm going with it. I'm staying. So you'll be seeing me unboxing those for a little bit. But anyway, thank you everyone for checking this out. Please throw me a bone. Hit that subscribe. If you like any of the unboxings I do, any of my other videos, I'm doing movie reviews, movie analysis, talking about things that are showing up on the Shutter service. Um, I'm going to talk about other things too. I'm just going to keep getting into a lot of stuff. I want to focus mainly on horror, but it won't be all horror. But at the least, just throw me a bone, help me out, hit that subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know as soon as I'm getting these videos up, and watch them, please. Let people know about it. Put some comments down there, and we'll talk. But thank you, and until next time, keep it brutal.